Google has just introduced Vlogger. Vlogger is an innovative approach for creating talking human videos driven by text and audio from just one photo of a person. This technique leverages the advancement of cutting edge generative diffusion models. I believe this research is going to be one of the most important research of 2024. If you go through its project page, it gives us a lot of examples. For example, look at this example. All we are doing it, we are giving it an input image and then also some audio and it is going to generate the video out of it. Now, another cool thing about this is the way this model has been formulated. This technique, as I mentioned, leverages the diffusion models. It involves two key components, a human to 3D motion diffusion model that introduces randomness and a unique diffusion based framework that enhances text to image model with both time and space manipulation capabilities. If you look at this diagram, this is how it works. The goal is to generate a photorealistic video of variable length depicting a target human talking, including head and gesture. Let me show you a working example. Models. The first one generates example, lip, face, and body motion that is, is consistent with the input, input audio. Image, the second audio, is based on a temporal version of ControlNet and creates the video of the target person following the previous motion. Our stochastic approach allows generating really multiple stuff. plausible motions for a person talking realistically given the same input audio. Vlogger generalizes to new people and is consistent across multiple diversity metrics. Vlogger relies on and this is where this research shines. Not only this, it Vlogger also offers a lot of other stuff. This framework is, as I said, it's a two-stage pipeline based on stochastic diffusion models to model the one-to-many mapping from speech to video. The first network, as you can see on your screen, takes as input and audio waveform to generate intermediate body motion controls, which are responsible for gaze, facial expression and pose over the target video length. And then we have second network. This network is a temporal image to image translation model that extends large image diffusion models, taking the predicted body, body controls to generate the corresponding frames. To condition the process to a particular identity, the network also takes a reference image of a person. Now, this method stands out because it produces high quality variable length videos that can be easily manipulated using high level description of human faces and bodies without the need for individual training, face detection or even cropping. It generates full images, not just faces or lips and accommodates a wide variety of scenarios such as different body positions or diverse identities which are essential for accurately creating videos of communicating humans. They have also tested this vlogger against three benchmarks and have demonstrated that it outperforms other leading methods in terms of image quality, maintaining the identity of the subject and ensuring smoothness over time. They have also compiled a new large scale data set, which is called as Mentor, which is significantly larger than any other before it containing 2200 hours of footage and 800,000 identities plus a test set with 120 hours and 4000 identities. This data set helped them, uh, help them fine tune and evaluate their main innovation. Their findings show that Vlogger excels in various diversity metrics, highlighting how their design choices facilitate the development of a fair and unbiased model at a large scale. At the moment, on their project page, all we have is a paper and this description with few examples as you can see here. Now, I wasn't able to find any code or any weights of the model. As soon as I find any weights of the model, I will locally install it and create another video out of it. But still, you can see that things are moving fast in AI. And after text generation image, now we have this vlogging, which is simply amazing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I will drop the link of this paper and video's description. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel 
and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching